Uh, now for the invocation tonight, it's a pleasure to ask Mother Mary Agnes Donovan of the, the Superior General of the Sisters of Life, who will lead us to come up here and to lead us in tonight's invocation. I will ad lib that I admire the Sisters of Life, not for many things that they do, including taking a stand on principle when uh, encouraged not to do so by the current administration. So. <laughs> Good evening. Let us lift our minds and our hearts to God as we pray. Eternal Father, source of life, we are grateful for the gift of faith which you have given us, which is always a call to solidarity within the human family, and for your presence among us this evening. Bless this gathering, our friendships, and the conversations we will have. Lord of life, open our hearts to see and desire the beauty of your plan for life and love. Fill us with your Holy Spirit so that our love may be generous and self-giving and we may be blessed with joy. Grant us great trust in your mercy. Forgive us for not receiving your gifts of life and heal us from the effects of the culture of death. Instill in us and in all people a sense of the sacredness of every human life. Inspire our efforts to protect and care for the most vulnerable, especially women who are pregnant and their unborn children, the sick and the elderly. Lord, guide our minds, the minds of our nation's people and its leaders to recognize that the freedom of religion and the free exercise of conscience is inherently a human freedom. We know that if we lose sight of the dignity of the human person, all else will unravel and peace will not last. You are the Prince of Peace. Help us to protect these essential freedoms in our land and allow each one of us to be a witness to the greatest freedom of all, women and men fully alive in the Lord. Lord, we pray, strengthen us in the hope that with you nothing is impossible. We ask this in the name of Jesus, who by his cross makes all things new. Amen. Amen. 